everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a look inside our brand new Greek Heroes and Myths study. If your kids love Greek mythology or Percy Jackson, this is the study for them. Greek Heroes and Myths only requires three resources, and one resource you could kind of get away without, and I'm going to explain more about that later. The three resources you need include the Percy Jackson and the Olympians book set. You will need all five of these because you'll be reading them all. You will also need the Explore Greek Myths 25 Great Projects. This is the one you can get by without. Again, I'll explain how in a little bit. And then the National Geographic Treasury of Greek Mythology. Also included are suggested resources, so you have books, games, videos and shows, fun activities, and additional resources. There is a map the journey page, so you will map everywhere Percy and his friends go during their journey. And then there are 26 weeks. Now each week is divided exactly the same with a few changes. So there are five days. On day one, you're going to read a chapter of Percy Jackson and do copy work. And then you're going to read about one of the gods or goddesses from the Treasury of Greek Mythology. On day two, you're going to read another chapter of Percy Jackson, complete an activity, and watch the YouTube playlist, which is going to be linked and QR coded right here. On day three, you'll read another chapter of Percy Jackson and complete a project from the Explore project book I showed you or from this Pinterest board. So if you choose not to purchase that book, there is Pinterest ideas in this board. So like I said, you could get away without it. Day four, you are going to read a chapter of Percy Jackson, complete comprehension questions for that week that are going to be based off of the book, the chapters you read and you're going to complete your god or goddess research paper. And then on day five, that's gonna be a fun day, so you're gonna play a game of your choice, or if you've completed a book, you'll be watching a movie. So again, everything is linked in QR code. So here is kind of what the week will look like. You will have a copy work for the week. The activities are gonna range from writing projects, drawing projects, um, crosswords, word searches, mazes, Sudoku, tons of fun ways that kids are going to get involved with Greek mythology, but also get in some language, some writing, a little bit of math. There is a coloring page for every god and goddess you're going to learn about. Then comprehension questions, again, for the chapters that you've read that week. And the comprehension questions are going to be fill in the blank or short answer. Then you have a research page for the god or goddess that you learned about. Then, like I said, that same kind of flow is going to repeat for all 26 weeks, just with different activities, and you'll be learning about different gods and goddesses as you move on. Here's those short answer comprehension questions. We'll go ahead and look at one or two more weeks just so you kind of get the idea. This is one of my favorite activities. You actually write your name using the Greek alphabet. All right, so I think you get the idea. Pretty much the same setup, so it's really easy to plan and keep up with. And then week 26, when you get to the end, instead of doing a god or goddess, you are actually going to do an author study on Rick Rorden. So here is a nonfiction reading passage about him, some discussion questions. And then there's going to be a coloring page and a biography. Now, one thing I didn't mention is that every five to six weeks, there are going to be language skills that have tied into the book that you've just finished. And those language skills are gonna cover things like um, figurative language, similes, metaphors, personification, parts of speech. So there's gonna be a lot of different things that you can do with that. And then every time you finish a book, there will be a word search and a crossword puzzle that will kind of be a review of that book. So it's a fun way to review with your kids. And then in the back is answer keys for everything that is included. 
So in case you've forgotten, it will be there for you. In addition to the main portion of the study, there's also going to be tons of fun extras like book and movie discussion questions, a book and movie worksheet where they'll write the similarities and differences, their favorite part of the book versus their favorite part of the movie. And there are even movie night tickets so you can really bring in some of that fun elements. Another fun extra that we've included are some would you rather conversation starter questions for kids. These would be perfect addition to a morning basket or a bedtime basket or just your dinner time talk. They're super fun ways to get kids talking. So we have things like, would you rather create a golden cape or a liar out of a tortoise shell? Would you rather have the ability to control lightning or the ability to control and cause earthquakes? And would you rather be the goddess of love or the goddess of family? So again, some really great conversation starters with kids. And of course, I wouldn't be a Waldock Way study without some games. And this one has some really fun ones. So the first game I have for you is a Greek god and goddess match. Now, because Percy is probably going to appeal to some older kids, this is not your typical memory or match game. You actually have to match everyone of the objects on these cards. So it's a little more difficult than your typical match because even though these look similar, they are not the same because you have to look at every single thing on there. So it's really, really pushing the envelope and challenging them just a little bit more. The next game we have is bingo with the Greeks. So you would look at one of the calling cards. Here I have Poseidon. So I will cover him up on my bingo card. Hermes going to cover him up as well. And then the first one who gets them in a row up and down sideways or diagonal would win the game. The next game we have is spot it Greek mythology. If you have been around the walkway any length of time, you know that we are absolutely obsessed with spot it. We have every single variation they make. It is hands down probably the most played game in our house. So I absolutely wanted a Greek mythology version and they don't make it. So I decided that we would create one to go with this study. Now what's really unique about Spot It is that each and every card only has one thing that matches. So in this case, if you look, it's Aries. So the first person who finds the match wins the cards. And then whoever has the most cards at the end of the game is the winner of the game. The last game is Exploring Olympics Greek Mythology Trivia Game. Now, I absolutely love it when a game happens to help me review what we've learned. And that is exactly what this game does. So it is a trivia-based game. So you would spin the spinner, and then you would see if you could answer one of the trivia questions. So if you could get it right, what prophecy caused Cronus to be fearful? The answer is that he would be stripped of his power by his own son. So if you answer that correctly, then you would get to move the number on the spinner. So you would move your little person two places. Obviously, whoever gets to the end is the winner. But what I said is so great about it is that those trivia questions are taken from the Greek book of treasury that you're going to be utilizing during this study. So this game is actually helping you review the things that you have learned while you're doing Greek heroes and myths. And last but not least, for our littlest learners who are more than likely just tagging along in Greek heroes and myths with an older sibling, we have included younger coloring sheets that have a little bit of information about that god or goddess. So you can see here, this is Poseidon. It tells you what he's the god of, a little bit about him and what his symbol is. So that even your youngest learners can join in on your Greek heroes and myths journey and not feel like they're being left out. 